Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Cinema and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And today we are taking a look at Age of Innovation. This is a brand new game called A Terra Mystica Game by designer Helge Ostertag published by Capstone Games and Feuerland Spieler. It plays from 1 to 5 players in 40 to 200 minutes. Yeah, so this is going to be kind of a, a different style of review. Yes. Because we're not kind of reviewing the game because this game is kind of Terra Mystica mm -hmm. uh, and this is a game that we have played and we have talked about it. I don't think we ever reviewed it because no. we played it way early and then we started doing videos yes. but Terra Mystica or Age of Innovation is basically kind of a Terra Mystica 2.0. Yes. It has a lot of the same DNA and some changes that we're going to talk about so this is more going to be kind of a comparison and also like which one should you get and which one we think is the one that we enjoy the most because spoiler alert we like it. Yes. Yeah, so Terra Mystica is a game, or Age of Innovation, I'm sorry, Age of Innovation <laughs> is a game where you are going to do, do a smart action selection, trying to move around, not really move around, but build around on this map. And try to place your little pieces in different colors and use your special abilities to the best way, in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. The player who does that over six rounds and gets the most victory points, because that's what everybody wants in life. It's going to be the winner of Age of Innovation. Yeah. Yes, so we're not going to go deeply into a overview style this time because, yeah, it's it's Terra Mystica, very, very much so. Uh, so where do we start? We start, I think, with some artwork and components. Yes, as you can see, if you agree with me at least, this is a huge, eyes. if you have eyes, um, then this is a huge upgrade mm -hmm. in art from Terra Mystica, in my opinion. This yes. looks more <clears throat> popping, the colors are more beautiful. This I think, is the Terra Mystica map, yeah, by the way, so you can Yeah, let's take a look at that as the... well. This looks very... Um, like a Euro game. Yeah. It looks like a Euro game. And this looks like a new Euro game. Yes, uh, which I really I really like it. It still looks like Terra Mystica, yes. so it... <clears throat> it it looks like a Euro game, yep. very classical style, but just like the color pops. The only complaint that I have is the lakes look yes. a little similar to the, the river. rivers. Yeah. Well, you can build there and not there. Yes. And that's a huge difference, but I would like those two to look a little more different. It's kind of like I, 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 I did a mistake in that the first time, time we played and it was easy to fix it. But it was kind of like when the lakes are adjacent to uh, the rivers, then it's very much, very basically what you said. Yes. Yes. Let's go <laughs> to the next part. Can you ask me the question? Yes. Does this game come with perhaps a rule book? It does, and it looks like this. It is 24 pages long, with the last few pages being a two-player game mode and the uh, appendixes. There's an uh, Automa solo mode, which is in its own book. And the rest of it is basically in the rule book and some setup and pictures and stuff. What I really like about this rule book is that they have basically in the table of contents, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some symbols beside some of the um, different chapters, and those are the new things that are in the oh, game. So nice. if you know already how to play Terra Mystica mm. inside and out, I read the whole thing because it's been a while since we played Terra Mystica, that you can go ahead and inside the book, there are even like lines to know exactly what is new. Like, you know, this I is new, that. this is not new, this is new again. So you knew, know really easily can see the changes and the additions to the game. It's a great rule book, which I think you should kind of hope for, or because much of it is Terra Mystica, just mm -hmm. with some new names. Like, it's no longer priests, now it's scholars. Mm -hmm. And it's not longer a guild hall, it's a... Oh, this is very important. No, a trading house. That it's a guild now, isn't it? I don't know. It's a guild. Yeah, it was yeah. a trading house. The now it's a guild. The first upgraded thing. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, like it's it's basically trying to differentiate it from Terra Mystica with those new things because this is the age of innovation. You were in the church with the priests and stuff like that, but now it's time for innovation mm -hmm. in this one. So we're gonna go more into that in next thing. We play the game. Yes. We played actually with human beings. Yes, and the game had player aids. I'm just going to mention oh, that. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, no, no, it's no problem. Uh, we have never used the player aids in Terra Mystica or in Gaia Project. No, I kind of used them like the first time we play. But in this game, I kind of actually noticed that they were there and mm -hmm. I appreciate them because there's a few more actions in this game yeah. than in the Too other right, games. So it was Maybe nice not. to have that there as well. 
but it exists. And yeah, now, but yes, we have yes. played this game. We have played this with two and three players, mm -hmm. and it has taken us two to three hours. Which is a bit more than the time, yes. but this is one of those games that I don't mind the time because I'm just enjoying myself so mm -hmm. much when I'm playing it. And except for the times when I know exactly what I'm going to do and you are super slow, that's when I'm going to be like, do something because this is so... I'm getting so p pumped up but and this I'm is so... This hard game, And yeah. I'm getting... A, I kind of in the love of play three player games and it was at the end I was going to be like oh don't do the thing I want to do <laughs> and like please be false because I want to do the thing I want to do yeah. and all of that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go into the kind of part that is about other things. The gameplay. gameplay? Yeah. This game has as we already said a lot of the DNA from Terra Mystica. Yeah. I think that if you hate Terra Mystica you're not going to come in and love this. No, I agree. It's uh, like not liking um, the, the the Great Western Trail and yeah. loving Great Western Trail Argentina. There's, yeah. There are so similar. many similarities that I don't think that <laughs> this is not going to fix Terra Mystica for you if you don't like it. That is true. Like the biggest changes in Age of Animation from Terra Mystica are kind of like the variability and how they basically have taken the player board and deconstructed it, which we're going to start looking at. This is a player board from Terra Mystica. You can see this is a grey player board, which is then the dwarves. Uh, it has its special abilities for the dwarf, and it has its special abilities for the stronghold, which is going to be uh, this one right here, which is then going to be that ability every time you play with the dwarves. Now they basically have thrown all of that out of the window. Now you have this board right here. So this is the waste and the red board. And now the red board can be any of the 12 factions. I like you that. draft them at the beginning of the game and you can put it in here. And also the stronghold, uh, which is called something else now, I don't remember what, also has abilities that you draft when you build it. There's like a variant where you can draft everything at the beginning. But the normal game, you put some up uh, over the game board and that's you're going to put it there when you build that. So that basically means now that now you can play the red a player board with 12 different abilities and then like loads of different of these uh, stronghold abilities as well. Mm -hmm. So that is going to change up the game a lot. Yes, uh, and I like that change. I think it offers more variability, mm -hmm. obviously. And I think if you have played Terra Mystica a lot, a lot of times, this is a fresh way to explore the game anew. Yeah, because we, we know, we never we obviously never play games enough to come to this part, but we know that now most players who play a lot of Terra Mystica, they are going to uh, draft their uh, factions for points, basically. Yeah, this is hardcore like bidding, Terra Mystica bidding players, on the ones. I feel they like. They get like combos and they see like, oh, that is a combo. And now you get, it, it's not going to be the same problem that, oh, because you are playing the the the, uh, the the dwarves for example you had to play this way or that way That's i true. think this is going to be better in that uh, uh, aspect yeah, also agree. it's double layer yeah so you don't get to knock over all your pieces i did never mind i never mind a dual a single layer thing but i enjoy this dual layer as well yes um the other big wearability part is the now it's called competency tiles. I mm -hmm. don't remember exactly what they were. Oh, it, was it was when you built the, the churches tiles, and the I temples. Think. Yeah. yeah. So what did it change? And now they are randomized on the board. Mm -hmm. So there's not any that um, do you know, belongs to the different temple tracks, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And what that also adds is more variability. Uh -huh. But also it introduces a new resource, oh. which is the newest thing to the game yes it is the book resource uh -huh. and when you get this competency tile some of them don't get you up on the temple tracks which mm -hmm. is not temples anymore i presume it's science tracks. science tracks and but they give you books instead mm -hmm. for example and then you can use those books to yeah do do actions yes for example yes there's a new like at the bottom here you can see that you have the the normal power actions that you had, those are the same. But now you have three book actions that are going to be changed out every time, so a bit more variability there. Uh, and the other thing you use the books for is to get the innovations. And you're going to use the uh, innovations, you're going to have different of them each time. Some of them are going to give you like an instant bonus, some of them are going to give you uh, an ongoing action, and some of them are going to give you scorings at the end of the game. So one thing you can go for now, 
I don't think you have to. Like the last time we played two players, I got two of them and got quite a few points. You mm -hmm. got zero, and I won by I think eight points. Yeah. And that was like another move basically that made mm. that change. So there's still different routes you can go, uh, but these are ones that you uh, can get to get those bonuses. Um, and basically a bit more interaction there as well, like there's a lot of interaction in this game already, but more interaction adding that you can race for these innovation tiles that are only a few on each time you play. Yes, but I like that you can play this game with like almost ignoring books and the oh, yeah. innovations. Yes. But the last time I didn't go for any innovations, but I still used the books for these actions, which mm -hmm. was nice. What I realized, just jumping quickly back to the competency tiles, Yeah. basically I don't know if the books came from that, but to be able to randomize them, because in Terra Mystica, one is just like three movement on the track, and then the next one is two movement on the track and a small ability, mm -hmm. and the last one is one movement on the track and a bigger ability. Mm -hmm. So basically, to be able to randomize them, it wouldn't make sense then that one would still be three, yeah. one would be two, and one would be one, because you could then get like super awesome things, which is cool in this kind of game because it's the same for everybody. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like you, oh, you're seeing that combo and going for it, and still here. With that, you get like different combos each time and looking at everything. If you're good at a game, I think you're gonna look at the start state of the game and be like, okay, this is the thing I'm gonna go for yeah. this time. We're not there. No. But adding the books there basically makes it so that you get three things, whichever ones you get. So you either get three movements or two movements and a book or one movement and two books. Yes, something also new in this game oh, is more new the stuff. neutral buildings. Oh. Now this took some time for me to get used to those uh -huh. existing, uh, but they are very useful. You could get them uh, by building innovations mm -hmm. or getting these uh, in, in, in what you call it competency tiles. Yeah. And they help you, yeah, gives power to your city so it's easier to build a city. Yeah, to form a city. Yeah. Yes, and also you can use it to expand your territory, which sometimes is really nice. Sometimes that can be the difference of me getting like the big majority on mm -hmm. the end of the game yeah. versus you, for example. Another thing that's changed are uh, these tracks. Yeah. Uh, before it was 10 on each track, 10 steps, and you had to use a key from a, a town, I think it was called in terms of, I think mm -hmm. it's a city now. Uh, to get to the top space. Here you can see it's now 12 spaces mm -hmm. and need a key to get from the 7th to the 8th, which is pretty early. Oh, that is so interesting, the change there. And also you can get like an income bonus if you get to step 9 of each. Mm -hmm. Now I think it's, it's for, in terms of it felt super hard to yeah. get that key form a city that's super hard it's still hard here yeah. but now even if i use the key to move up on that track mm -hmm. i'm not i'm not saved like to be the, at the, the majority highest, no, no. that is a very interesting and i like the the, the income the income i really like that because that adds to a reason to push like mm -hmm. even though you're not going to the top you can push to get those three money or six power or two or three points at the end of each round yes obviously the before you, the earlier you get there, the more it's gonna be. Also, the maps yeah. are different. I don't know. Like we're not gonna go like deep into the balancing because they have changed this. Uh, they have changed the map. So this is the uh, Age of Innovation map, and this is the Terra Mystica map. So there are changes. Mm -hmm. We cannot go into detail about no. why. Like, oh, oh, but now you have the red hair and nah. in, in but this. But I, I like reason. that they have two maps. One for yes. uh, a little tighter play for one to three players and one for three to five. And I like that you can choose then when you're three, three players if you want mm -hmm. a loose game or a very tight game. I don't think there was any kind of two-player variant when you played Terra Mystica. I don't remember. I don't think no, there I was. No, I don't remember. But, but I don't think there was. But there is. And it's very, very easy and very nicely done you basically have it's going to be on each of the tracks it's going to use the scientists to to fill up on those spaces so you have less spaces for to send them where you send the priest in terra mystica and it's going to move up on the tracks depending on the science bonuses uh, like the same one you got in the the rounds here in terra mm -hmm. mystica you also get here and you're going to move on those and also it's going to have a tile here that's going to say 12 13 14 or 15 which is going to be um hidden until you get to the last hidden. round hidden hidden, hidden. close your eyes <laughs> and it's going to tell you like basically virtually how big of an area the third player has mm -hmm. so you kind of have like a third player to compete with i felt especially on the tracks i really like it was a big difference to get that 
uh, four points and the two points mm -hmm. when you got eight points, basically. Yeah. Many times in these kind of games, here it's half, so it's not that bad. But from eight to two is way worse than eight to four. Yeah. Getting two points instead of four <laughs> points when the other player. That is worse, I agree. Maths. Yes. Uh, I think that in the the uh, the passing of the player uh, order yes. is nice. It's passing the same the way. Order. It's the same way. That is not a yeah, sentence. That, I think. that is not a sentence. What did you try to say? Uh, passing of the player order. No, that when you're passing, yes, you get these bonuses, but you also then get to be first. <laughs> Pause first. That, yes, that's that the makes sense same, now? yeah. Yes. That's how it was. And, and I, I think that it's cool that you're drafting those bonuses at the end, <laughs> start I, of the game. I like that the, the thing that you maybe were trying to say yes. is the change. Which yeah. is now that it's it's the, the order you pass in is the order you play in. Oh yeah, yes. sorry, uh, yes. Because that was like the main change. Yeah. I, I think it's like our friend who played it with us, he said that it was also like that in an expansion of Dark Mystica, mm. which we hadn't played. Because earlier it was like the first player who passed, got the first yeah. player. And it was just like the same yeah. order around the, the table. The thing that I yes. tried to say... Back to, to the say thing you tried to say with words. Is that they still have those bonuses that you yes. get for pausing. Yeah, but you don't have the, the round bonus that you have in yes. front of you. Yeah, yes, but and you that... changed them out when you pass. Yes. <laughs> so it was nothing. Not what no. we were trying. You say know. they didn't take that out. No, yes. Um. But <laughs> what am I trying to say? I think you were trying to say that the new thing is that you're kind of drafting them at the beginning of Thank the game. Thank you. Yeah, that is what I meant to say. So I think that explain is cool. That. Yeah. No, that is what you do. And it did, yeah, does it need any further explanation? Basically, you're getting it when you're taking a board and a faction. You also get that. And you're gonna have like the three leftovers gonna be in the game, and then you have seven factions and seven boards, and seven of those. So the, the ones that are gonna going go into the game are depending on number of players, and the rest are gonna go out. Yes, that's basically Thank what you. you're gonna yeah. say. Yeah. One thing that we noticed, we this is like a after the place that we had now, uh, it felt a bit uh, less tight than Terra Mystica. Yes, I remember Terra Mystica as an impossible game yep. that feels so brutal, especially in the beginning. You can build like one building and you're done, and it's still some. It, it's still that. Yep. But in this game with the books and you have more opportunities, and mm -hmm. then for me at least, it felt a little more loose, a little easier to get things done in this game, but still super crunchy and super oh, yeah. fun. Because it's the same for everybody, basically. So, um, and this is based. This is very much uh, not science. Like this is very no, much yeah. not. This is our gut feeling. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I haven't played Terra Mystica. We played it once during Cape or Cal. Mm -hmm. and we haven't played it for many years before that, so it's kind of I cannot speak to it. But that mm -hmm. was the feeling, like oh, we're in Terra Mystica a bit more than this. Yeah. But this is still like timing. Everything is super important. Mm -hmm. mm, and like we haven't talked a bit about a lot about what we thought about the game, but we're gonna do that in this kind of different video, in the final thoughts, basically. Yes. But before that, who is it for? It is a heavy game. Yes. It is a brain-melting game. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it both fits if you had never tried Terra Mystica before yeah. or never got this. it. This is... Mm, yeah. I have one thing. Mm -hmm. There is this uh, other game that we never played okay. called Terra Nova, oh, yeah, which true. was out last year. I just checked. I it's an, it's another that. designer. Oh. So it's not the same designers, which mm. is basically a lighter version of mm. Terra Mystica. It only has five different areas, mm -hmm. and it just don't have all different buildings. Okay. I don't know. I just saw that in pictures, so I don't know the different changes from I that. I cannot speak for that. But that is basically, I think, yeah. I heard it's good. Mm -hmm. So I think, like, if you want, if you think Terra Mystica is too much, then you can get that. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. true. Back to you, sorry. Yeah, uh, so I think it fits both new but also old players. Yes, like, like four years and 99. <laughs> yes. Perfect uh, if, for all If ages. you love Terra Mystica but mm. you want more variability, I think also this is a great choice. Yeah, absolutely. I think like if you like heavy Euro games and you either you don't own Terra Mystica, the big question of course is going to be, and if we don't talk about this, people are going to be like, but what about this? Is that for many people, Gaia mm -hmm. Project kind of made Terra Mystica obsolete. Yeah. 
And now this is coming, and people mm-hmm. are going to ask, "Do I need this if I already have Gaia Project?"、Mm-hmm. I'm going to let you answer first.、Oh, you are letting the person who wanted to call Gaia Project answer that question. That's true. You're crazy. I think you can be super happy with only owning this. Yeah. Because I think that the changes here are.、Um, I think it speaks to the per- people who switched out. Uh, Terra Mystica for Gaia Project. Yeah,、uh, I still think there's something with the tech tracks that、um, you don't get、yes. in this game that you do get in Gaia Project. Yeah, but I prefer this game over Gaia Project, and I stand by that.、Yeah. I will only wa- o- like if I could decide. Yeah, I will only own this game. Yeah, that was my next question, basically for you.、Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we are getting rid of Terra Mystica, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna say that I think they're different enough because I chose to keep both Terra Mystica and Gaia、yes, Project when、did. we played it, and I think they're different enough games. They're kind of like, and I, and I think they're more different than, for example, games I other also we chose to to keep.、Mm-hmm. For example, Bros Lancashire and Bros Birmingham. Yeah, I agree. I think those are more similar. Yes. Those are basically feels more like map packs、I、with rules. Support and, that. And these are more different than that. So I think like if you like Gaia Project. And you enjoyed Terra Mystica. I think you will like this as well. Yes. So let's do some final thoughts. Yeah. But before that, if you're still here and you're new to the channel and you enjoy what we do, then you can help us out in a big way. As I said in the beginning, what does everybody want? It's victory points. Yes, and we get victory points when you click that subscribe button, and you can also click the bell to get notifications every time we post a new video. So let's go. Yes. Final thoughts. Time for Final Age of Innovation. I almost said Terra Mystica. Thoughts. Time. I, I love this game.、Yes. I love Terra Mystica. Yeah. And even though it hurts my brain、oh, in、yeah. all the right and wrong ways, you know.、Uh, I just, I also really like Gaia Project. I just prefer、yeah. this, and I think that if. You are on the fence of getting any one of those games. This should be. This is my favorite.、Mm-hmm. I'm super biased. This I love this. New and shiny stuff. Yeah,、uh, but I love all the changes that they've done. Yeah, there's not a single change、um, like without those like, the <laughs> little a bit, a bit little the same, yeah. <laughs> with the the blue、uh, map that I don't like. I enjoy everything that they've changed,、mm. and I really enjoy the core game as well. So this is just a really really solid Euro game. If you haven't checked out Terra Mystica, check this out instead. But yeah, it's a really good game. I'm going get, going to give it a nine. Okay, this is a fantastic game. This is one that I'm sad that we're not gonna go and play every single day now because it's just so good. Like all the different, I would love to play all the factions. I would love to just dive into that because the game is so crunchy and so good and right up my alley of games. I really like Terra Mystica. I love Gaia Project and I like this one so much. I think that I'm gonna be happy to have this and. Gaia Project, and I would love to be able to play them even more than we have already done because it's just so much fun. If you enjoy the kind of games that I like, I think like this is no-brainer. And probably you have played Terra Mystica. Many of you obviously haven't,、uh, but if you haven't and you heard about it, get this. It's just fantastic. And now I'm going to who is it for? It's for everybody who likes the game I like. I'm going to give it a ten. It's a fantastic、cool. game. I love it to bits. Hope to play it again. Someday it's going on the shelf, and hopefully it's going to be going on the table again as well. And that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Sinova, and you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings. Bye bye.